Okay, Hydra Shift. There's loads and loads of videos on Hydra Shift, but none actually explain to you how the hell to check it, what to do, and how to know what's going on. So here we go. So David Brown on case and Hydra Shift. You've got your lever, mine's got an extension, and you've got one, two, three, four here. Okay, you must never leave that in four, because what this does is it doesn't change up and down the box, it literally goes to the gear that you ask it to go to. So okay, testing it. Grab yourself a range. Let's go. Good. Grab a bootful. Okay, and you need to feel it in each gear. Okay? Slow between the two and three there. Next one. And then there's four. There we go, there's four. Okay? So that's your first test. That is testing to see whether it actually um, whether it actually functions going up the box. Now, you need to check it going down a hill as well. And the reason you need to check it going down a hill is because it doesn't only it doesn't only run it doesn't only, um, how can I put this, it, it doesn't just change gears, it also performs engine braking as well. So what you've got to do is check it down a hill um, under engine braking. So what I'm going to do is I need to get it up into high four, so into four high, so there's four low, there's my next gear. common faults with the Hydra shift is crap in the gearbox. Now what you need to do, there's a little filter on this and what you need to do is you need to clear the filter. Now, oh, squeeze underneath, hang on, are we, are we, are we likely to get flattened? No, we're not, it's flat. Okay, right, the filter, this is the main hydraulic filter capsule here, it lives in here, okay. That is the, um, the, the, the filter for the gearbox. That's the filter for the low oil pressure system that runs the gearbox. Take that off and a filter drops down with it that's washable and you can clean out. Now, there's lots of people that say <clears throat> that you are supposed to... Try not to show you a PTO with no cover on it. <clears throat> A lot of people that say you are supposed to change that filter there, that filter housing, yeah, that filter in there, but it's not true for the simple reason the Hydra Shift, sorry about the windows, the Hydra Shift runs from its own oil pump and does not run through the high pressure hydraulic lines, um, which is that, that is. Oh, which that is the filter. So there we are. Okay, so in short, go up and down the box. Make sure it goes up. First to second is. Um, so we still get windows up there. Um, first to second should be quite a quick shift. Um, uh, third to fourth should be quite a quick shift. It's the second to third. 
it's the slow yeah. shift. Okay. What do you sometimes you know? So okay, how do you know if something's wrong? So some examples. If you go first to second and it gives you second, uh, and then you go to third and it feels like you've gone back to first, that's because you have. You see, this gearbox, when nothing's working in it, runs in first. So what's happening is you're going first, second, broken third, which brings you back to first. So you can actually tell. So the broken gear um, will give you um, the broken gear will give you uh, first again, unless you're deeply unlucky and both brake bands are broken. Basically, this thing runs off two brake bands and two clutches, and from that combination, it can give you four gears. It's not hard to fix. Um, <laughs> not hard to fix at all um, it's a real bitch to get at you've got to take the cab off and split the tractor issue once you've done that it's not hard at all um, anyway uh, what other things yeah coming down a hill engine braking if it tries to run away with you um, that, that's um, tries to run away with you uh, the, the bands aren't gripping by the way it's not usually bands at fault a lot of people say oh just tighten the bands it's not um, the other thing, of course, is that if you're down in a low gear and it snatches occasionally, if it suddenly sort of grabs and grabs, what it's doing is it's trying to drop back to first, potentially because it's got low oil pressure. Um, so yeah, your only quick fix is to check that filter underneath. Other than that, um, it's unless you're deeply lucky, um, it's gonna be a tractor in half job. But, 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 why not run the tractor without it? Why not run the tractor without it? You don't get such good road speed. You get all your physical power that you, you would normally. Um, you just don't get such a good road speed. And you don't get such a good choice of gears. For a basic tractor with just three range gears, which, yeah, okay, it's you're a bit up and down. Do you know what I mean? You know, you're not quite the perfect ranges, but it works. Um, and the other thing is, never, never, never leave that in fourth. Because what happens is it just, it's not an automatic gearbox. It is a selectable automatic gearbox. So it will jump straight from first, as soon as it's got enough oil pressure, jump, jump straight from first and slam it into fourth. And you just burn the clutches. So there we are, guys. I hope that helps.